Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki and today's video is going to be a quick one and this is just going to be like my three overall top weight loss tips that I tell like every time someone maybe sees my transformation picture for the first time or they just see my story for the first time or something like this. So many times I get asked what's the best advice you can give? What's the best tips you can give? And so these are my top three tips that have helped me personally lose over 70 pounds. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and get started talking about the three tips. So like I said, a lot of times someone will like see my progress picture for the first time and just be like, what advice do you have? What advice? Give me your best advice. And this is what I have to say. So the like most different thing that I did this time around, and it was just the biggest game changer for me on my weight loss journey was rewarding myself for consistency. It was not rewarding myself for losing a certain amount of weight, hitting certain milestones at a certain time. It was for consistency. And I can't even explain how much that helped me and just changed everything. So like I said, so many times when people think of like a weight loss journey or they're just gonna start losing weight, they want to set up a reward system and they think, okay, five pounds, I'll buy myself this pair of shoes, 10 pounds down, I'll buy myself this, 20 pounds down, like, and that's a great way to reward yourself if that works for you. But for me, that puts such a pressure on myself. A lot of times people will set like a date. So it'd be like five pounds down in a month. And if you didn't hit that, then you don't get the reward. And I don't know, something about like the pressure in that just like never works for me It never motivated me. So what I did this time around was because I started WW and I was going to be tracking my food, I decided that if I stick consistently with this for one month, I'm going to reward myself with something. That way it's all in my control because I can't control the amount of weight that I technically am losing. Like I cannot pick that I'm going to lose exactly five pounds this month. I just can't. But I can control that I'm going to track my breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day for the next month because that is in my control. That is something I'm doing. And something about like having the control over that and a lot less pressure made it so much different. So for me, a month in, I stayed consistent with my tracking and weighing out my food and just this whole lifestyle for an entire month. I rewarded myself with the foot massager that I had wanted. Then same thing with three months in, same things with six months and a year. And so that just like something about that took so much pressure off my shoulders. And I just highly recommend that you set up goals for yourself, of course, but also set rewards for yourself for staying consistently on track and not for hitting certain goals. It makes such a difference. Then the next tip I have to say is do not restrict. And there's a few things that go into this, but I haven't restricted anything for myself. Now, that doesn't mean that I haven't cut certain things out that I don't want to be eating every day. Like I was eating a ton of cheese every single day before I started my journey. And instead of restricting myself from cheese and just not having cheese, I still incorporate it a little bit, but I don't go over the top with it like it did. But also certain things like ice cream, which I used to have all the time as well, that does not sit well with me lately. It really does upset my stomach and I just notice I don't feel great after. So if I was at an event and there was ice cream, I would still have ice cream if I wanted it and I wouldn't restrict it, but a lot of times I've just kind of cut it out. So there are things you can cut out, even like fast food. We've cut out certain fast food restaurants, but if it came down to it, we wouldn't restrict it. We wouldn't not allow ourselves to have anything. And just giving yourself that power that you're not like forcing yourself to restrict something, like it makes such a difference because you don't feel like you're missing out on something and that helps a ton. So another thing that helped with not restricting was coming up with substitutes. So like ranch dressing. I I haven't had normal ranch dressing in over a year now, but I'm fine with that because I found a Greek yogurt based dressing that is Bolt House Farms that fills the void of ranch dressing. It's a much lower calorie option and it doesn't make me feel like I'm restricting because I'm still having ranch. Even though technically I haven't had ranch in over a year, but I'm not restricting myself. So finding substitutes kind of helped with that. Even like my favorite takeout meal is noodles and company pulled pork barbecue mac and cheese. And so at home, I found a way to make a very similar version. We still get the mac and cheese every very, very so often. Like my birthday, we got that mac and cheese because I just love it. But I know to be mindful about it. I know to limit it, but I'm not restricting anything. So I hope that makes sense that like 
there were certain things that I did limit or cut out, but nothing restricted. Because when you feel restricted, when you see something and you think, I can't have that, that's all you want. So instead of thinking that way, it was more like, okay, I can have that, but I know how that makes me feel. So maybe I'll just have more of this. And then, yeah, it was more became a decision of mine. And so much about this journey I'm realizing was like having control over my decisions made such a difference. Like I said, th the fact that I controlled my consistency and not the pounds I lost, the fact that I control that I can have that food but i'm gonna choose not to i'm not restricting it i'm not forcing myself to lose a certain amount of weight by a certain time i'm not forcing myself to not eat something that i want to eat i hope that makes sense the last thing i want to talk about my third tip is not just focusing on exercise and diet and yes diet is the number one thing that I needed to focus on. It was the number one thing that helped me. It is still my number one focus. I'm not saying that you don't focus on diet and exercise. However, there is so much more that goes into weight loss. And I learned that very early on. And that is what made all the difference for me this time. So yes, like I said, calories, dieting. I tracked with WW. That was huge in my weight loss journey. Obviously, that's a reason I was able to lose the weight. Exercise. I incorporated rollerblading. I incorporated lifting weights at the gym, walking, tennis, like all different activities. Yes, that's helped me lose weight. However, sleep is huge. Making sleep a focus made such a difference. It gave me more energy. It just made me feel refreshed and it just... I feel the difference when I don't get sleep versus when I get sleep. Even my bloating is worse when I don't get enough sleep. Like it is crazy. And so sleep, mental health is so important with weight loss. You cannot put your mental health on the back burner. That is probably just as close to diet and importance for me with my weight loss journey. Like my mental health was not in a good place when I started my weight loss journey. And it took a lot of adjusting and a lot of work and it still takes work every day, but it is so important that you don't neglect your mental health when it comes to weight loss because changing my mindset and just the way I thought about food and my body and everything, my health and my priorities, like so many things changed because I focused on my mental health and I would not have been able to lose this weight if it weren't for focusing on my mental health. So that, and then the last thing like to focus on other than just food and exercise is water intake. So water intake is so important for so many reasons. I even know that drinking water has helped clear up my skin. It's helped give me energy. It's helped regulate my digestion. It has just kept me hydrated, which has allowed me to work out the way I want to. It's allowed me to do the things that I wanna do. And so staying hydrated is so much more important than you may realize. And when you actually start to get the right amount of water every day, you will notice the difference, I promise you. And that took cutting out some sugary drinks. It took setting a timer every hour so that I remember to drink water. Like it is a constant thing that I'm working on, but game changer as well. So just to wrap it up, my top three tips for weight loss have been rewarding myself for consistency, which game changer, it took off so much pressure and gave me a lot more control in my weight loss journey. Then not restricting anything, which again, gave me control. It made me feel like I wasn't missing out because before in the past, I always thought I was missing out or had to force myself to just eat these dry foods that I didn't want to eat. And when I realized that I didn't have to restrict and I could still incorporate foods I loved, another game changer. So that, and the last thing is to not just focus on diet and exercise, although of course those are important, but also remember how important your mental health, your sleep, and your water intake are. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.